So this is a demonstration on the Noggle Knowledge Map and Knowledge Cluster Search feature. Um, there are often situations uh, when you're not quite sure about the current phrase or text you are looking for within the document. So um, maybe for this example you are looking for some specific documents on security related issues in special areas but first off you're not sure about what documents are available within your search space because so first of all you start with some um, selecting the libraries um, which should be taken into account. So in this case, we are using most of our libraries here, so even all, uh, which gives us a search space for this demonstration about 27,000 documents within our search space. So uh, we don't have our own um, documents taken into account. We also have shared libraries from our peers, which are not our own documents. And we will include these documents from our peers in our search space because we want to know maybe they have some important stuff on security. So in this, in this case where we are not sure about the phrase on the exact document, we start via, with a very generic search term first. So uh, if we run a search on the security topic, um, you will see that uh, we, get a, we get a huge list of documents uh, which fits into the search term security. So um, it cuts off uh, once it has found 1,500 documents here. So this list is now um, yeah, sorted by rank. So the, the, the topmost documents which fit to the search term are rated first. So it makes sense now to browse the list from top to down. But, but anyhow, as we have a generic uh, um, search term here, oh, we get a lot of documents here on this topic. So what, what we can do down next is that we, we don't want to browse each different document. And you see that these, these documents are then distributed over, over different contexts within our, our peer network. As we're looking for more details, so we don't know in the document details itself, but now we have the Noggle Map feature the Noggle Map feature now uh, provides clustering on linguistic patterns within all these 1,500 documents related to the topic security. So uh, w when we activate the Noggle Map feature, which I will do now, is that it instantly runs um, over all the found 1,500 documents, checks the text and looks for linguistic patterns which exist. And this has been done now just with a blink of an eye. So and all these 1,500 documents are now structured into clusters or categories. So for example, 227 documents are, are related to the topic network security out of these 1,500. And so it goes down now. So we have uh, 142 documents which have linguistic matching patterns related to risk security. And th so it goes down. So the most relevant clusters are ranked top and um, if you click on the topic, you will see all the documents which fall into this category. So this is the left side of the screen. And on the right side, you see the same clusters, but visually presented now that you can easily see, okay, where are the most clusters located here for data security, network security. But you will instantly find interesting uh, clusters also um, yeah, which are related to yeah, service provider, remote access topics, or yeah, let's say um, um, well, IT security, a special topic, information systems, or access control. So um, these are then very specific um, knowledge domains uh, like access control. So once you click on a cluster on the visual map, you already uh, see all the documents here on the left hand side and you can you can structure your screen according to uh, what you're mostly looking for. So now you see 33 documents are related to the topic of access control and you now can instantly narrow down your search within these 33 documents. So um, and, and, and keep, keep in mind that this is a cross peer cross document linguistic pattern clustering algorithm, which is non-supervised. So these clusters are found instantly by, by the system um, based on uh, where, where there are relevant linguistics patterns within. So the next step might be that you now select one or more clusters that describe the best what you're looking for. Like in this case, we would say, okay, access control, uh, security requirements, 
or risk security. Um, yeah, so j just as an example um, in relation to yeah, information security and, and service level, let's say that these um, five areas of knowledge domain uh, come close or more close to what you are looking for. So once you have selected these, you can run a cluster search. So this activates a research on the selected clusters. So now it goes back to the, to the full search base of 27,000 documents and, in, and instantly checks a new search within these five areas of interest. So you see that Noggle automatically reassigns the search request here um, on, an, yeah, on an artificial search request just to get uh, documents within these five clusters. Um, you will see that we already have found another 1,500 documents, but now not related only to security, now related to these five clusters, see the, the, the knowledge clusters, what we're looking for. Now Noggle runs a new knowledge clustering algorithm so it is again now crunching all the context information around these 1,500 documents. So keep in mind this is a full text linguistic pattern research now on these 1,500 documents related to these five knowledge clusters here. So this takes a little longer as it gets more complicated as we drill down into our um, knowledge domains here. So it now gets all these context information, builds the yeah, pattern detection, and pushes out the, 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 the clusters we are, we are looking for. So um, uh, you can see also that duplicates um, um, are removed already before clustering documents and before showing the search results. So this is also some intelligence uh, worked into the uh, Noggle algorithm to make sure that duplicates uh, uh, based on cross-peer search will not take into account or will not um, distribute your, your um, clustering search. So now we are, we are fine. So um, you see it just took some seconds again to, to, to just run these reclustering search uh, over, over 30,000 documents at all. So now you have your new clusters ready here um, um, and your new visual presentation here. So you, you now get more closely to the, to the terms here above. So now we have new clusters found here for business continuity management, in support incident management, operational risk and security management. Um, you can also browse these, these here on the map. Um, yeah, what, what, gives, what gives you now um, how, how your documents or what knowledge is there. So these clusters re that present now um, knowledge domains on, on what knowledge is within these documents available. So, um, um, and this now is different just for searching or retrieving documents. This gives you the ability to push now your document libraries into a knowledge management search space. So I think this offers a lot of opportunities how to browse your document library, how to find documents of interest, even if you don't know the exact search term you're looking for. So thanks for listening.